Hello, thank you for watching. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to bring together uh, all of the different, almost all of the different measures of location that uh, we've discussed in this section of the workbook. Uh, mean, median, mode, percentile, uh, and quartile. The only thing that we're gonna uh, not discuss here is the geometric mean. So in this case, this mean that we're describing is going to be the arithmetic mean where we're going to be adding uh, observations together and dividing by the number of observations. So we're working with here our data set that consists of uh, uh, a number of grades, individual student grades from my first year principles of macroeconomic class. So we have a few different things that we're going to do. Mean, median, mode, third quartile, which is the same as the 75th, uh, oops, 75th percentile and the 85th percentile uh, we'll, we'll calculate as well. Uh, a few pieces of information, uh, or a few initial steps uh, in going through all of this that are very helpful. One is identifying just how many observations that we have, because we're going to need that sample size of the number of observations. We need that for the mean, and we need it for all of these uh, quartiles and percentile calculations that we'll want. Uh, the second initial step in these types of problems uh, is sorting the data from smallest uh, to largest value. Okay, so anytime you're, you're presented with a problem like this, where you have a data set uh, and you're asked to calculate any of these measures of location uh, that, that uh, are listed here, first thing, count how many observations you have. Second thing, sort the data from smallest to largest value, okay? So I've gone ahead and uh, just to save some time, I've done that here. Uh, so I've sorted everything from smallest to largest, uh, moving down this way, and I've counted all of those observations and I've added an index value. So this column here, I've counted and I've actually written down exactly uh, which observation is in which position from the first observation down to the last 28th observation. Uh, because this can be helpful when we're calculating um, any of the percentiles or quartiles. Okay, so this will be our starting point. Uh, so the first things that we're going to do is calculate uh, or, or find our mode, our median, and our mean. So let's do let's do the hardest one first. The hardest one, the most tedious and the, the longest calculation first. So that's going to be our mean. So for the mean, uh, as hopefully you know at this point, the mean is obtained by adding together all of the observations and then dividing by the number of observations that we have. So we've introduced the formula for this uh, is that mean is equal to the summation of all of those observations, i equals one through n, and we divide it by the number of observations that we have. Okay, so this was that formal notation uh, for calculating a mean. Now I'm going to uh, calculate all of these you're welcome to fast forward uh, maybe 20, 30 seconds while I do this uh, in the video. It might take some time. Okay, 26 plus 36, 37, 37, 41, 42, 47, 52, 52, 54. Are you fast forwarding yet? 60, 60, 62. I think I'd be fast forwarding by now, 63. 64, 67, 67, 67, 67, 69, 70, uh, 75, 77, 78, 80. I really should work with smaller samples, shouldn't I? 82, 90, and finally 91. Okay, so there's our numerator. 1713. 
and we divide this by the number of observations that we have here because I've already counted I've got that that first column of index values I know I have 28 observations and that gives me an average grade or uh, an arithmetic mean grade of 61 let's round it 61.2 so this is 61.2 and these are percentages this is the grade in the course so the average here was 61.2 percent not bad let's move on now to the next one the median now the median we know is that observation that is right in the middle so half of the observations are going to be smaller and half of the observations are going to be uh, larger than the median. Now there are different ways that we can identify the median. One was to start at the, the extreme values, eliminate those extreme values and go through one at a time until we fall somewhere uh, in the middle and that will help us identify the median. What we can also do is use the same approach to calculating uh, percentiles because we know that the median is the second quartile or the 50th percentile. These are all exactly the same things. And so for that, we use this formula, I equals P over 100 times my sample size, where I corresponds to one of these index values in this first column. P is the percentile of interest, and N, this is my sample size. So if I'm looking for the median, this is a, per, uh, a, a percentile equal to 50, the 50th percentile over 100. My sample size here is 28. So this is 50 over 100, so it's like one half of 28. This is going to be equal to 14. And because we have an integer value for this calculation, then my median is between the 14th and the 15th observation. When I calculate an exact integer, then I take the average of the ith observation and the ith plus one observation. So this is going to be the average of 63 and 64. So this will be 63 plus 64, divide that by two. So this is going to give me here a median of 63.5. So that median is a little bit higher than my mean, right? My mean was over here, 61.2. Okay, um, hopefully, Hopefully that all makes sense and I haven't lost you in the calculations. The nice thing about these videos is you can always rewind if I go a little bit too quick. Moving on to our mode. So the mode, this is that observation that occurs with the highest frequency. Having all of our data sorted from smallest to largest groups, all of those identical observations together. So I can go through and I can say, okay, well I have 237s, two 52s, I have two 60s. Oh, I have four 67s. So these don't matter anymore, these pairs, because now I've got one observation that occurred four times and nothing else. So here, 67, this is my mode. Okay, so we've identified our mode as 67, our median 63.5, our mean 61.2. Two. Okay, let's uh, let's start fresh, and now we want to find a couple of quartiles and percentiles. Let me uh, scroll up and see what we need. A third quartile, which is that 75th percentile, and also the 85th percentile. Okay, so we'll have. Let's see our, th our third quartile. So this is 75th percentile. And also our 85th percentile. Is that right? I don't want to make, okay, good. Okay, so for this uh, exercise, we use the same formula. Uh, I 
equals P over 100 times N. P is a percentile of interest, N is our sample size. So let's start off with our 75th percentile or third quartile. I equals 75 over 100 times N here is 28. So let me get my calculator. This will be 0.75, I won't skip a step, 75 divided by 100 times 28. This gives me an integer value of 21. So this is my uh, 21st observation. Now because it's a whole integer, I need to take the average of the 21st and 22nd uh, observation. So my 75th percentile will be the, the middle or the average of 70 plus, I'm looking at these two, 70 plus 75 divided by two. And so this is going to be 70 plus 75 divided by two, 72.5. 72.5, that's my 75th percentile, or my third quartile, okay? Let's move on to the 85th percentile. So we use the same calculation, except now this is 85 of 100 times that sample size. So I equals 85 out of 100 times 28, 23.8. So in this case, our index value is not an integer, so we round this up to 24. And so here I have that 24th observation that corresponds with a value of 78. This is my 85th percentile. Of course, what does that mean, the 85th percentile? So the 85th percentile is 78. That means that 85% of the students earned a score of 78% or less. So 85% of the students have a score of 75% or less. And of course, 1 minus 85. So this means 15. Whoops. 15% had a grade of 85 or better uh, in this course. Okay, so there's a, a quick run through of uh, a few of the different measures of location, mean, median, mode, quartile, and percentile. Uh, hopefully these all are coming, uh, coming to make some sense and uh, starting to become a little bit easier to work with. Okay, thanks again for watching.